Welcome to Little John's Yarns. Today, we're gonna to learn how to make these super simple crochet summer sandals. These sandals are created in four short rows and they use very minimal yarn. The yarn today was provided by We Crochet. I'll be using these cute little Brava minis. These are great for small projects like these sandals right here or Amigurumi. So I'll be using the color Cornflower and the color Silver to create these sandals. Also, you'll need a four millimeter crochet hook and of course, flip flops and an optional button. If you don't have a button, I'll teach you how to create one at the very end of this tutorial. All right, so let's hop right into it. First, we're gonna attach the yarn to your flip flop. The first row is gonna be super simple. You're just gonna chain one, single crochet 30 across the first strap, then single crochet 30 across the second strap. So let me demonstrate how that will look. So the first one is gonna be a chain one. I know it's kind of awkward going around a strap and single crochet. So that will be a total of 60 stitches going around. So 30 here and 30 here. Pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion. We've just completed row one and you should fasten off your work. So if you notice, you can always move your stitches around to fit them betterly, betterly, <laughs> better around your strap. So for row number two, we're gonna be working with some extended treble stitches. And the names of these stitches can be a tongue twister. So therefore, I'm gonna be using the names of the wrap instead to make this go easier. So to begin, don't worry, you'll be able to catch this easily. We're gonna attach our yarn to that very first single crochet. This is our new color. And we're gonna chain seven. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This chain seven counts as a quadruple treble crochet. Like I said, that's a mouthful and we're not gonna use those names. For the next stitch, we're gonna wrap your yarn over six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We are gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and start into that next stitch. To complete this treble, you're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops each time. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You're gonna keep doing that until you have no more loops on your hook. If you notice that I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and slow it down. So for each stitch, we're gonna add one wrap each stitch we go up. So this next stitch is gonna be seven wraps over. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once again, we're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and start into the next with our yarn over and pull through two until you have no more stitches on your hook. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always slow it down. The next stitch, we're gonna increase our wraps. We're gonna wrap eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once again, skip two stitches, one, two, and start with our yarn over, pull through two. Sorry, I'm not even on the camera. All right, we're gonna keep with this pattern repeat for two more stitches. So the next stitch is gonna be yarn over nine times. Then you're gonna skip two stitches. Then the next one is gonna be yarn over 10 times. And that's where you're gonna start when we're gonna meet after that last yarn over 10 times. So pause your video care and continue with those last two stitches. We've just completed those last two stitches. And if you're wondering, this stitch was called a octuple treble and your last 10 wrap over stitch was called a non-tuple treble stitch. As you can see, that's why we're not using the names. So next, what you wanna do is gonna skip 28 stitches. So if you need to pause the video here so you can mark off and skipping your 28 stitches, go ahead. But right now, I'm going to continue on. So we're just gonna be reducing the stitches to match the opposite side of your sandal. So I'm gonna continue with another non-tuple treble, which is a yarn over 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let me take out my stitch marker and start my yarn over pull through two. Ooh, it takes a while when it's yarn over 10 times. All right, and once again, we're gonna start reverse decreasing. The next one will be a yarn over nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And skip two stitches. 
let's see, one, two, go into that next one. Pull through two until you have no more loops on your hook. And this is going to be our pattern repeat. So the next one is going to be wrap over eight times, skip two stitches. Then the next one, wrap over seven times, skip two stitches. Next one, wrap over six times, skip two stitches. And the last one will be wrap over five times in that last stitch. So we're going to meet at that very last wrap over five times. So pause your video here. We completed our last stitch and what you need to do is fasten off your work. But if you're marking one color, you can just continue without fastening, fastening off. All right, so now I'm going to switch over into my blue color. This is going to be a little strange. We're going to add yarn to this side and this side of your uh, crochet sandal. Because right now we're going to create the straps that go around your sandal. So for the first side, I'm going to attach my new yarn. Let me move this out the way. And for me, I needed a total of 15 stitches going across the sandal. So I'm going to chain 15. But please try it on your foot and see what it takes to get around your sandal to meet in the back ankle. So pause your video here and continue to chain the designated amount of stitches. All right, I have my designated amount of stitches. And for this one, I'm just going to fasten off my work if my thing would like to cut. And we're just going to repeat the same thing on the other side. I completed my 15 chains for the ankle. So now we're going to start our double crochets. I'm be going to begin by chaining two. One, two. This chain two is my turning chain. It's not going to count as a stitch. We are going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. To begin our double crochets and we're going to double crochet in each chain but we're going to stop at the very last chain and we're going to meet right here so continue placing double crochets in the ankle strap chain pause your video here all right we completed those double crochets so now we're going to be working across the front of these extended treble stitches so what we're going to do we're going to be working front post double crochets to do that we're going to yarn over once Go behind that long post and push it forward and continue with your normal double crochet. I'll show you one more time with the next stitch. Yarn over, push that post forward and continue with your double crochets. You're going to work this stitch all the way across your work until you make it to the second strap area. So continue with front post double crochets until you make it to this very last extended treble crochet. We've completed those front stitches. So now we're gonna be working on the chains again on the strap. So what you're gonna do, once, like just like the other side, you're gonna place one double crochet in each one of your chain stitches all the way across your work. So you can pause your video here, continue with your normal double crochets across your chain, and I'll meet you at the end. We've completed those double crochets into the chain and you're just going to fasten off your work. But if you're working one color, do not worry about it. So what we're going to do now is attach a new color to the very end of your work. And we are going to chain one. I always like to chain one when I'm working with uh, front and back post double crochets. It makes the ends look neater. So your first stitch is going to be a double crochet into that very first stitch. So now we're going to begin to work the back post double crochet. To do that, you're going to yarn over, go behind your work, and we're going to push that post backwards like so. And complete your double crochet as normal. I'll show you one more time because I know those ends were in a way. So yarn over, here's your double crochet stitch, go behind your work, push that post backwards, and complete your double crochet as normal. So you can pause your video here. I want you to continue doing back post double crochets all the way across until you make it to the other side. All right, we completed that row and I fastened off. And for our very last row, what we're gonna do is front post double crochet all the way across your work. So we're gonna attach our yarn, chain one. We're gonna start with our front post double crochet. Remember for that, you push the post forward and complete your double crochet. I'll show you one more time. You see yarn over, you see the post right there. We're gonna push it forward and complete your double crochet. 
So you're gonna front post double crochet all the way across your work and fasten off and your shoe will be all done. And I'll show you what it looks like with the ends all weaved in. We've completed our sandal and this is what it looks like. And all you have to do is add a button onto the back so you can have a closure. But if you don't have a button and you would like to know how to make one on your own, let's do that now. So we're gonna begin by chaining four. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna slip stitch into that very first chain to form a ring. And right now we're gonna chain one. We're gonna place as many single crochets into this ring as we can. I usually can fit about eight single crochet. So pause your video here, continue placing eight single crochets into this ring. We've made it back around and completed those eight single crochets. We're not gonna slip stitch to join. We're gonna continue single crocheting over top of the previous rows single crochet. So let me show you, we're gonna go back into that ring and pull up a loop and we're working over top of the previous rows. We're not working into the stitch. We're working over top. And as you do this, it creates a cute little buttonhole on the opposite end. Let me show you what it looks like from the opposite side. As you can see, it creates this cute little buttonhole and you can attach to the very back of your uh, sandal. So once this is all done, mine looks good about here, attach it on and your sandal's all done. And if you enjoyed this tutorial and you like other uh, slippers and sandals, please check out this tutorial. The link will be up above and I'll check you all on the very next pattern. Bye guys.